Okay, that's what I'm gonna do for now. Today is uh, 14 January 2020. I managed to get uh, another query about uh, Feng Shui. And this round, uh, the client was asking more about health. They are about to get their new flat. And I got the floor plan because I couldn't do a site visit. So I asked for the, the whole map of where uh, this, uh, where her home, her new home is going to be. While looking at that whole map, discovered that there was something about this kind of uh, homes. I couldn't know the exact uh, degree so that I can uh, overlay the 24 mountains. But I'm going to use a different method to do it. And that will require another uh, need to do a printout and after this I'm going to go and do the measurements so this is part one of uh, that consultation so I got the estate plan down here and since I can't visit the area I have to rely on this plan to figure out the orientation this is where the client lives this block what I did was that I just drew a 90 degree first. A 90 degree, straight up. Then, because this is the unit, so I made a one straight line. And subsequently, I placed the first, right? Then I just align to the top, making sure that it is at right angles here. So now it's a 90. Then I just move because I'm able to see the thing that's moving in the center. The line in the center. So this was actually the original uh, the original pencil. Then I move this over. Thus, uh, that's how I get the first interpretation of the building facing direction. Uh, this method was taught to me by one of the seniors when I did my own consultation so he shared with me that I could do this uh, in the event that uh, I'm not able to go on site to see because this whole development is still underway the client wants to talk about health and probably that will mean uh, finding out where is the permanent star 6 Especially the sitting star six. Yep, we'll document again what uh what she will ask and what are my answers. And I guess that up to this point, it's been creative of how I use the stars to achieve what I need to do. Third take because the second take and the first take were taken terribly. Okay, so I wanted to do this third take again. Basically. The, laid the 24 mountains on top of that floor plan so this one is also going to be very clear concise everything is talking about health even though during the consultation i did talk about other things how would i do this home is that first for health there are two things bedroom and the stove plus this thing called the life god palace which is their base palace during the whole consultation, of course, uh, right now you because you won't be able to know their life what number. But basically, uh, the two homeowners, uh, the husband and the wife, is all in the east, and the son, they have one son, uh, it's in the northeast. The thing about uh, base palaces is just to ensure that it's neat, clean, and tidy. Okay, though I do definitely uh, agree that and understand that uh, having a kid sometimes. It is not easy to keep homes clean, but kindly just keep it clean. Head to the health bedroom. So the bedroom, she wanted to use this portion. So let me just uh, change certain things, the size of the pen. So when I look at the main bedroom, uh, it looks kind of odd until she kind of, uh, un until the homeowner herself uh, told me that you no, know, like it's kind of shape oddly okay but I let her I let her know is that uh, whenever you open the 
the door to your bedroom you won't want to see like a bed like this which is what I'm drawing right now right once you go in you see the bed uh, we don't want to do that okay let me erase everything it's task I told her kindly keep the bed within this boundary which is here is what I'm calling coloring in green right now keep the bed within those uh, areas and if possible uh, place the headboard on the purple side I recall previously that uh, Joe, Joe Bui from the JY team ever said that if you were to have a door at this side because the question is that why don't I now place the headboard at this side it's because uh, there's this shoulder shaft for beds, it's kind of straightforward. Uh, kindly ensure there's no ceiling fan also. Sleeping is a yin, uh, yin activity, so just want to make sure that most of the things there are still. If you have to use the fan, kindly just uh, blow it against uh, away from the bed, uh, just to if you need air circulation. Uh, I did ask whether do they want to consider the other bedroom, but then because if I look at this bedroom. Yeah, let me just circle it for you so that you can see this bedroom, right? Uh, why I felt it was much better is because you can place the bed in this manner, and when you go in, you still can go in. Nevertheless, I uh, always want to remind myself when I do my feng shui, feng shui consults, right? Form over formulas. Okay, thus everything I'm talking about right now is just forms making sure that uh, even in this room the headboard is against here a solid wall oh in the main bedroom the homeowner asked uh, he suggested that hey why not let's move this door move this door downwards right downwards to maybe be uniform here right but then that's the issue because there's a sharp edge here right at this point so when you open the door you also don't want to see anything a pillar or something or a sharp a sharp point right because that forms like a uh, minus shachi that's all for the bedrooms that I can think of and recall during that consultation for health what we eat also supplements our health her arrangement was that she wanted to do this thing okay there was supposed to be an island here thus in the second version of the video right I said that oh uh, I think I said wrong things that's why I decided to do a third version. She wanted to put the stove here because this is a, uh, uh, a kitchen island. Then uh, I recall that the stove always has to back against a wall. Okay, so there's no backing of a wall at the back here. There's no backing. Okay, because it's an island. This is a flat top. So. I told her uh, kindly don't do that uh, she, oh, she has to place the stove either along somewhere here which I'm coloring, coloring in red okay. yeah, probably here uh, she, she also mentioned that uh, she would place the basin here which is fine okay. one thing we just need to think no, uh, avoid is that fire water clash which is opposite each other thus when she said that she's going to place the stove here and the basin here uh, I said no how is the fire water clash is that it must not be in direct directly opposite that means if you draw like draw two lines right it shouldn't you shouldn't be tight facing any stove in this scenario the stove is facing the basin directly opposite Directly, so no, we don't want to do that. She also asked, Can she place the stove here? If you have to, just make sure there is either a wall blocking, or if not, please place some plants because uh, the wood element is the mediator between the fire and the water. This is the resultant layout that I had. And one more thing is that um, because, in order to ensure that the home is able to receive chi, right. Uh, of course there are many other methods but the most layman method that I always remembered uh, from learning 
function from Dato Joey yeah, is the bright hall. When we walked in, is there a big area for the chi to um, gather before it goes into the other areas of the home? This was one of the discussions because um, the homeowner wanted to place the sofa on this side and the TV here. Okay, but uh, I was thinking, mm, but then this seems like a very kind of a constricted uh, bright hall. Thus, I suggested, hey, why not do it the other way? But at the end, she said that because this is a C shaped building, uh, if, I, if they were to do the manner they are to say, it's going to be looking into the neighbor's unit. Then she didn't want to do Then I was like, okay, can reality sets in? Not all uh, suggestions will be taken. However, before the whole consultation ended, right, I shared with her the annual flying star, and it happened that today is 26 January 2020, third take. Five yellow is flying to the east. So the bedroom right now is at the east. As we know, homeowners want to move into the flat. Thus, I have to in the end select some dates in order for them to go in, and that's basically using the great sun formula. Uh, of course, there's also other methods to place uh, like 60 kg metal in the east sector, on uh, preferably on the full metal day, which I learned from the community. How do we know when is the right date? to start the renovations at any other good sectors and end off at the east um, that's basically using the home the building facing and the great sun formula and that would show 60 days that we can start renovations basically we choose a date we don't clash with the year pillar and in addition uh, I did something else which is to don't clash with the day pillar all the home occupants had Year pillar had dragon dragon pink and gold red red. Thus in the I believe in the next video looking at hindsight which I've recorded um, it should show you the dates. That's uh, probably in July, between the July 7 and July 22nd period that they can consider taking or starting the renovations. Also happened to be the period that they're gonna receive their keys. At the end of uh, second quarter this year may the great sun uh, bless this home because personally i have not experienced five below myself neither would i want anyone to experience it continue to watch uh, on the date selection portion since the home faces north tree so according to the sun date there is the Gen 6 to Gen 20, July 7 to July 22, November 7 to November 22, March 6 to March 20th. How do I get this? It's basically is provided by Joey Yap. They are going to get their keys in the second quarter. So the earliest will be the 7th to July 7 to July 22nd. Thus created this thing, the elements and the animals. Basically, I wanted to avoid the year and the day. So the year I record, uh, there were two dragons and one pig. And there was goat and red. Okay, so these are the four, anim uh, four animals that I want to avoid. Now here I need to look for the animals that clash, right? So I know that I have, uh, I need to avoid chow. Right, so I put a red. Hi. I need to avoid the si, wu is to avoid the zi, and she is to avoid the dragon. And in fact, one layer, another layer, I guess it will be more of the 12 day officers. Need to go and look at the Chinese calendar. Continue watching. So, this is the Chinese calendar. Uh, I need to flip all the way up to, I think it's 15 July. I need to start from 7. Okay, 7, there is 7. Aha, uh -huh, seven. Okay, sing hai. So this uh, thing means 
interesting means what? Uh? Hmm, let me take a look. It's before initiate. Ah, it's a stable day. So in fact, 7, I think 7 July. 7 July is a nice day. So this why now I'll just label it here lah. Stable. In fact, the 12 day officers go in a certain format. So after stable, you have uh, 8 is okay. This is the initiate. Okay, so since the dates are selected in this manner, right? Well, my what I feel is that I'll choose this kind of dates, a stable, initiate. Okay, uh, probably success also. Okay, I probably put success. Anything new, I will continue to merge onto this video.